This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Wood soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Bell? Well, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. Bell, welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. As ex-KGB, it was a risk to bring you on, but we needed to think like them. We need that mindset again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. Bell, you're looking a little pale. You up for this? Good. You've just moved up on my favorite team member list. Right past Lazar. It'd be good for Park to hear it from us firsthand. Maybe we have overlooked something. The safe house? I've done time here before. Years back. This go round? Just a few days now. Ask Lazar, he can't get enough of safe houses. You just met her yesterday, right? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? Maybe you two have a special rapport. Keep it professional, Bell. We're placing key intel up there, one for each mission, forming connections. I want a red line right to Perseus. We've done some jobs together. Good guy, you'll like him. He keeps things light. Don't be a stranger. Bell. Well. 
This one is luxury. Fresh air, lots of room. Try being squeezed into a 500 square foot shithole with five other people. A long drive into Berlin is worth it. Believe me. You probably know more than me. I guess it's something the top brass wanted to keep to themselves. Working with the CIA over a decade. On their actual payroll? Going on about five years. I was born in DC. Parents moved to Israel when I was a kid. Dual citizenship has its advantages. Yo, I landed in the Israeli Defense Forces out of university. Did a tour there. After that, the Mossad. That's when I first started working with the CIA. And occasionally, I'm boss man Adler over there. Enough talk. Sims, heavy pack. Hell yeah. One sec. How are things, Bell? Well, I'm keen to hear about your time in Indochina. So close to Perseus. You and I? It's entirely possible. I have a long collaborative history with other intelligence services. Our paths have likely crossed at some point. In this case, quite. I understand you may have first-hand knowledge that could help us. Not nearly as much as I'd like. I have experience with others like Perseus. They're all chess players. I enjoy predicting the next move. It must be difficult, Belle. I can't claim to have experienced what you have. Perhaps going over it again could be... therapeutic. We'll talk again soon. Pretend like it's... what's his name? Uh, that guy back in Vienna. You know. Oh. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. Word had it Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's crank time. Like I said, sometimes you just can't miss. Yeah, yeah. 
Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, our little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I want it all up here. Bell, you're with Sims. Usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers to provide combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull. All sitting comfortably. Oh man, Adler. Why do I get the feeling you're about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. The news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Top two, light him up!
go, Bell. I'm right behind you. I'm exposed! Oh. Give me some cover! It's on you, Bell. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset.
Hamlin, this is Ripcord. You need to push back the VC reinforcements before we're overrun. Be advised, we have multiple birds in the air. Watch your fire. Enemy dug in all around the hillside. We don't have a hope in hell landing if we don't take out those positions. Light them up. Sog? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. They're the one who just snagged up the fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. We that desperate already. Not yet. new. Sims! Bell, you okay? <laughs> We're okay! Fuck! Bell, let loose of that goddamn turret before we're overrun! We can call this a success, Sims. At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way.
Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. <laughs>